Today I'll show you how to create a smooth looking background image in OBS Studio through the use of the Media Source plugin. It is very useful when you want to let your viewers know that when you are in fact live and the show is starting soon and you don't want them to think that it's just an away graphic or that you are in fact not live. This is a tool that is useful to engage viewers so they start looking at it and in fact prepare themselves for the show that is about to start. In simple terms, how do we make this thing a reality? The first step is of course to create a new scene in OBS Studio. I have already done that and it's empty as you can see. We add a new source, uh, we will add a, a media source of course, but we can't do that just yet because we don't have the background loop on our computer as of yet. Of course I have it, but we don't have it together. We get it through googling, of course, how else, and we go to YouTube and type in particle loop or effect loop or motion blur or bokeh or something like that select a video that suits our interests and our needs uh, this one wouldn't be too good because it has the circles close to the camera so the best is to use something like this or starry night something uh, something that changes and looks pretty good of course whatever floats your boat if we download this, go to Clip Converter and download the video in MP3, MP4 of course. Uh, download in best possible quality so that it doesn't get destroyed when we apply it and apply effects to it. Okay, it's converting. And download of course, Golden Bokeh. In my Downloads folder, I just go to the OBS Studio, create a new media source, click OK. Uh, select the local file. In my case that it's in the downloads folder here we have it click on loop and we don't have to click anything else in advanced just loop uh, now we have it here we see when we put the scene to active or if we disable studio mode it plays but it's not what we actually want because it's on top of everything else if we had an image in the background let's see I let's let me just select an image from my background okay let's see this we put it behind you can't see it because it's in the front so what we do is go to uh, on the media source we go to filters add an effects filter and add a color key whatever name it whatever you prefer and go to custom color select the color that is that is most most closely represented by our our background what is this it's some kind of a gray maybe this and go through the through the motions make it move them so they look good so they look absolutely stunning it's not that difficult but it's a bit of trial and error of course um, see we have now so some graphics that that change of course some uh, some sliding options are better than others let me see what we can do this is already quite good because it shows the viewer that something is in fact happening. It isn't the best, but it's not terrible, terrible. And this is how you notify your potential viewer that you are in fact live and just waiting to complete a step, just waiting to get back from a break or starting the show soon. Um, that the stream is actually live and it's not just an offline picture. Uh, thanks for viewing this tutorial and don't forget to subscribe.